Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we will see how we can download and install Vue.js with ASP.NET Core. Now, before we begin, we would like to invite you to join our website tutorialsexcel.com, where we have some really nice training for you and a lot of different training courses that you can see. And also, if you check the description, you will see a link to our own monthly giveaway competition. So make sure you join it to get a chance to win some really nice things that we do each month. So now let's start with the tutorial. Now first thing first, we're going to start by downloading the ESP.NET Core View Starter Pack, which will help us to cut the time for the creation of the solution or the web project. Now, when you go to the ASP.NET Core View Starter, go right here to clone or download. You can clone the repository right here, or you can download the compressed file. Now, after you download or clone the repository, you will have these files down in your computer. Now, we will open the view to SPA solution file and when you open it you will see the following inside Visual Studio as you can see it's a really normal ASP.NET web project it does not has like any distinct features it only has like Vue.js installed and embedded to it now, let's explore the solution much deeper. If we expand the dependencies, we'll see the different dependencies that this project depends on. And if we expand in NuGet, you will see that we have referencing to the .NET Core uh, web, ASP.NET and the MVC. Also, if we expand the NBM, which is Node Package Managers, we're going to see the view references added it to this project. And as you can see, we are using uh, uh, like a latest version of view. Now, if we go to the www root folder, as you can see, it's like any normal uh, folder you see inside the uh, ASP.NET Core project and here you can place your static content now the client app is actually the folder which will hold and contain the Vue.js app inside here as you notice we have the main file for the a view JS. We have also the settings for the route and the uh, routes defined for this application. We have some components early defined for us. Here is some static style and also some store to use like Vuex to store session data. Now if we expand the views, you will see the normal MVC views that you see in any MVC application. We will not be working uh, with these files and most of the time we will be going to the client app. Now if we come to the controller, we see here the home controller for our own uh, ASP.NET uh, MVC project and also the symbol data controller now most of the time you will be creating API controller like this to send and receive data for your uh, project now we have seen the application uh, structure Let's actually run the application and see what we will get 
like when we run it in the browser. Now notice with me that this is our own application up and running and we are doing like uh, going to different pages inside the application okay and we are here using the view x and we can reset the auto counter also and here we are getting the data from the api requests now in case you don't know there are an extension for Vue.js to be used along with chrome okay now i have it right here and notice that it will be like highlighted and colored if it detects that Vue.js is used inside this web page now i will open the console for you to see and right here it show me like some data about my application and if i go to the counter i can see like as you notice uh, some information about my counter uh, some information about the uh, like the state of the counter etc i can increment it notice that it will directly detect that there has been a change and it will notify me with it so this is a really handy tool i recommend that you install it to your chrome browser now let's actually hit back to our application what we want to do we're gonna go to the client app right here go to the components and we want to create our own component now what i want to do you see the home page i will copy it and i will call this one new now in case you don't know what's the content of a view component i will explain further for you now notice that we are starting with the template tag which is a root tag that will tell you that this is the content of my view component now i will just come over here uh, remove the static html and add another div now we also have this we have the script section and also the style section now inside the script section we will be writing our own javascript code for the Vue.js and right here inside the style tag we can define the style for our own component now remember that this style will be local inside this component so now what i will actually do i will come down here i will define a new variable i will call it message now vue.js in case like you worked with angular and different your frameworks you can come down here and call in the message using string interpolation now we're gonna save that now what we want to do oh, i will actually add it inside uh, an h1 now we need to add our own components to the route definition and also to the application so now we have a new right here now what we want to do we wanna need to go to the uh, i'm sorry uh, we need to go to the routes right here
I'm going to give it a new display data. Now I'm going to need to import my component, so I'm going to do that. And I'm going to give it a path, which is the URL. Now, what we need to do, we need to go to the navigation menu right here. Inside right here, as you notice, the view will, uh, like this component will automatically detect all the menu items, all, all the routes for my application and display it for me in the browser. Now just a small edit so our application runs smoothly. Uh, we missed the name right here. We left it as the same default one which was home page and we need to set the name of the component right here as a new now I will run this application right here and notice with me in the side I have right here my component defined and I have the same value that I have used okay if I inspect it and hit to vu I will see that this is my component right here and it's heading over to new now let's see the power of a view Oh, sorry let's close this what I want to do I wanna auto bind okay or do real-time binding to the message right here from an input text box so I will create an input element And what I want to do, I want to directly bind the data inside this text box to the message property or message data. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to call V dash and then call in the directive model. Now, most of the time when you want to call Vue.js directive, you will do the same V dash and the name of the directive. And this should be message. Now, Vue.js will automatically, like, or directly watch the changes inside this or for this variable or for this data and directly bind this new data to it. Okay, everywhere inside the page. So now, notice by default, I get the same value of the message that I already defined now when I like start typing some new characters inside the input box I see real time update for my message value inside the web browser so that was just like a really quick tutorial of a Vue.js and it's powerful features and its powerful models okay we remind you to go to our website tutorialsxl.com to subscribe to our channel and also to check out the giveaway and join the competition to win some really great free prizes thank you for watching